D081, Innovative and Strategic Thinking. Let's talk about it. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in tech, both the career side and the education learning side. I'm a recent WGU graduate and I obtained my bachelor's of science degree in IT management. And I was able to accelerate through the program and complete the program within three and a half months. This was due to the help of my program mentor and my enrollment counselor, and really just my desire to be done with school as quickly as possible. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about innovative and strategic thinking, course D081. We're going to talk about what that means, why is it relevant to IT, what are the course requirements, and ultimately, how do you pass the class? So without further ado, let's jump into the student portal. I generally give a little synopsis here as a floating head, but I have some things that I looked at in the student portal that I think will be helpful in answering exactly what this course is and what it's about. Okay, so here we are in the course homepage, and we're going to focus on this section right here just for a second. And essentially, if you want to know about innovative strategic thinking, this sums it up pretty well. It basically says this course covers an important part of being a business professional, and that is the knowledge and skills used in building and implementing business strategy. Now, being strategic is really important because it helps place you in the best position possible and ultimately, the organization wants to have a competitive advantage over other organizations that may be selling the same goods, manufacturing the same items, or providing the same services. It goes on to say that this course helps students build on previously acquired competencies in the areas of management, innovative thinking, risk management, while introducing them to concepts and theories underpinning business strategy as a general business perspective. The course will help students gain skills in analyzing different business environments and in using quantitative literacy and data analysis in business strategy development and implementation. This course helps provide students with a generalist overview of the area of business strategy. So with all that said, let's go ahead and look just real quick at the overview. So the course planning tools here, there's the course materials down here. We have instructor announcements, course tips, course search and course chatter. Instructor will provide information for your instructor, including their contact information and office hours. And then the announcements just has updates about the course. And then sometimes they create new videos or new PowerPoints that help support your learning. And then in course tips, there's generally a reference to the course resource page, which we'll take a look at in just a second. And down here, just want to show you that there is a performance assessment. The course is three units and there's a performance assessment that's broken out into two different tasks. So a majority of performance assessments are going to be two tasks. It's what it is, but they do build on one another. So you're not completely starting from scratch with either one of these. Here we are at the course resource page and you can see a lot of the information that they provide here. I really, really love the materials that WGU puts together. As long as you read through them and give yourself maybe an hour or two to really see where everything's at. You're going to line yourself up for success with the majority of their assignments and the resources they provide. So here they have a meet your instructor area here and highlight it, how to get started. And then they break it down by task one and task two. And if you notice on both of these tasks, there is a template and that template allows you to just fill in the details related to each question or prompt that's covering the scenario. Okay. So let's talk about what things you'll, encounter when you take this course and what are some things you should be thinking about as you're responding to the prompt. The first thing I want to really convey is that you're going to do a lot of cross-referencing between which in the scenario and what things you're charged and tasked to do in the actual response. And so a couple of things you need to pay attention to are number one, the company in the scenario, who is the company? How, how do they identify in terms of their culture and things like that? Uh, you want to understand their organizational structure, and then you want to be able to choose basically aspects of the business to do a deeper detailed analysis on. And this could be anything from like their strategic decision-making, their organizational structure, or just their company culture. You can choose any of those things. And again, you're going to have to review the scenario, 
draw some inferences based off of evidence from the scenario before you respond to these things. The next thing you're going to have to look at is design. So there are, there is a design element or product element in this particular task in, or in one of the tasks. And so you'll have to understand essentially how do you, how would the market dictate how well this product is received? What are some ideas or changes you can think of for the product? And lastly, what about that culture? So when you did your cultural analysis of the company, what about that could affect how things are developed and maybe some obstacles or advantages and disadvantages that carry with that company culture. And then lastly, you'll definitely have to understand what a SWOT analysis is. So SWOT analysis is short for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths and weaknesses are generally inherent or internal to the company. So you might be really strong in how you design ergonomic equipment and you may be really weak in how you market <laughs> that, that great product that you have. So those would be the strengths and weaknesses and then opportunities and threats. Opportunities are usually like things external. So maybe the market is going this direction. Maybe things are cheaper, product are cheaper. Maybe there's a huge demand for it in the area that you're in and you are at the center of that. And then threats would be generally other companies who are competing with you, but also could be laws or yeah, generally laws and, and regulations that could be a threat to what it is you're doing. And like I said, the main thing that you're going to have to do is really pour into the scenario. This is probably one of the more lengthy scenarios. So there's a lot of elements in there. It's good to just match up evidence from the scenario or, or statements made or information captured there and match it up against different items in the description or in the requirements of the paper. If you do that, then you can really just write and write and write and give really good detailed analysis or description of what you or what you understand. And that should be sufficient. Also, it's good to help or it'll be helpful if you use outside sources. So whatever industry is discussed in the scenario, definitely create references that support what you know about the industry, what you know about the fake scenario and what you know about how to apply your business savvy to help the company. All right. So that about wraps up today's video. I want to thank you for checking this out. As always, I appreciate your support. If you benefit from this content, let me know. The last thing I want to mention before I wrap this up is that school is hard. <laughs> there are times where you're like, I don't want to do this. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. But I think it's also important that you don't suck the life out of yourself in terms of just coming down on yourself or really being hard on yourself, just work hard on yourself. Just take what you know about what makes you successful, really lean into those things, take a deep breath, make the study environment conducive to learning, create good systems, create good habits, get some rest. All these things will help you be extremely successful and help you to accelerate through the program. So with that said, thank you again. I appreciate your support. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud.